Hello friends, welcome to the segment Symbolic Expression and as sign language expert we have Manisha Sharma with us and uh, the topic for the today's discussion is V. Shantaram and Indian Cinema and this is the second part and the first part we talked about some of the initial films of V. Shantaram in which he acted and thereafter he began his journey of detection as well. We also talked about his concerns with regard to the cinema as many of the films which were made by him, they were concerning the ideals of the social reform. He was trying to portray the kind of society which was there and also at the same time he was also trying to raise certain kinds of issues that how the emancipation of women in the society should take place any kinds of religious orthodoxy which is there in the society it should go away and uh, we uh, talked about many some of the films like dunya namane which was made by him in 1937 which was talking about the issue of mismatched marriages and in that uh, concern we see that the films of vishantaram have been uh, one of the most important sources of in terms of studying about the kind of films which have been made by him. Uh, some other references uh, could be Kiran Shantaram and Sanjeet Narvikar, V. Shantaram, The Legacy of the Royal, Lot Royal Lotus, uh, Madura Pandit Jasraj, V. Shantaram, The Man Who Changed Indian Cinema. So these are some of the re uh, readings which one can refer when one is talking about the films which have been made by V. Shantaram. Uh, we also uh, talked about some of the films which were made by him including du um, Dunya Na Mani and uh, we also talked about uh, the Padosi, the film which was made by him in 1939 and which was talking about the Hindu Muslim uh, unity and the, the way the kind of divisions which were being uh, created by the British in at that point of time and how communalism uh, has raised its ugly head because of the policies which were followed by the British. And the Lahore session of the Muslim League in 1940 demanded a separate nation for the Muslims as well. So in this kind of an atmosphere, uh, we find that such a kind of film with the title of Padosi or uh, Shajari, which was uh, made by Vishantaram, uh, created a lot of uh, uh, a lot of excitement and it, it, this film was very successful as well. Uh, we find that how the individual Satyagraha was also launched in, 19, in, uh, in 1940 October by uh, Gandhi and it maintained the spirit of struggle among the masses and uh, the kind of tensions which was there between the Hindus and Muslims, uh, they were fueled by the religious fanatics on both the sides and then in this charged atmosphere, uh, we find that a film called Padosi on such a sensitive issue. Uh, was some sort of a courageous act by him but also a very daring kind of an act uh, by V. Shantaram. And uh, we find that as the film also tries to communicate that how uh, British uh, uh, they were trying to create all sorts of uh, dissensions among both the religious communities so that uh, they, they it could be to their advantage. They wanted to have all sorts of advantages uh, by dividing the people on different lines, uh, religion being the most predominant one, keeping in mind uh, the kind of problems which were being inculcated uh, by the British in the Hindus and the Muslims. And uh, we find that uh, such kind of films uh, like Padosi, they were trying to convey the issues of those times that how the vested interest, especially uh, the vested interest of the British or the third parties, they were also symbolic of uh, in a way what was happening in the reality in the contemporary times. And this uh, situation of communal frenzy uh, which was created by the religious fanatics whose interests they were being served by uh, creating divisions in both the communities uh, could also be understood in the sense that how the British policy of divide and rule, it was some sort of a hallmark of their hegemony in India. So uh, we find that how the films of uh, Vishantaram, they were trying to address uh, the contemporary situation of those times. And uh, continuing in the similar vein, we find that how uh, there was a film which was made in 1935 uh, with the title of Devdas. 
and uh, this film was made by uh, P. C. Barua. And uh, in in this film, uh, we find that it was some sort of a pessimistic film where the uh, the the hero or the protagonist of the film dies. He resorts to alcoholism because he was not able to find love uh, in his life. So uh, Vishantaram felt that uh, this kind of pessimism was not required in the society, and he came with a film called Admi in nineteen thirty nine. Uh, which was a story of a simple minded policeman and an innocent prostitute and how the policeman falls in love with her and offers to marry her is the main uh, main idea of the film and this film was the remake of the marathi film manus which was made in 1939 uh, and the film starred shahu modak and shanta hublikar so we find that uh, that v shantaram realized that Uh, that admi was uh, his answer to uh, devdas which was made in 1935 and he felt that the life must go on and the motto of the film uh, is also being communicated in this manner uh, though in the in the film uh, the prostitute is not able to marry the policeman because she is haunted by the moral legacy of her past and finally she walks out of his life but uh, as as she loses the courage and she defeats herself but shantaram in a way provokes the society to a new thought to a new level that when will the society reclaim the prostitute who is more sinned against than a sinner and these kinds of issues they were far ahead uh, of their times uh, shantaram in a way tries to take uh, to uh, the society or raise the consciousness of the society to such a level in those times and at the same time he also wants to propagate the message that in spite of the failure of their love uh, the life should be pragmatic in nature and all sorts of the frustrations which are there in the life they should be taken in the stride and uh, they should not be glamorized and uh, this kind of a glamorization which happened in 1935s uh, devadas which was made both in hindi as well as in bengali by p c barua so uh, uh, vishantaram felt that in such a kind of a situation when india was under the colonial rule uh, the people uh, they should rather become uh, they rather have some kind of a meaningfulness in their lives and they should not be pessimistic in any way and uh, admi was in a way answer uh, to the kind of pessimism which was being exhibited in the devdas apart from that uh, we also find that v shantaram uh, in a way uh, made certain films which were talking about the war efforts as well and in this uh, in this concern we find there was a film called dr kotniski amar kahani which had both versions english as well as hindi and in both the versions uh, v shantaram played uh, the title role uh, as you can see on the screen as well and in this uh, particular film uh, v shantaram tries to communicate the efforts which were being made by uh, an indian doctor who was sent to china uh, during the times of war uh, as some sort of a uh, some sort of a war effort where uh, he had to contribute uh, to the people those who were being afflicted or in a way uh, met any kind of an accident uh, uh, during the war and uh, this film was based on the life of uh, dwarkanath kotnis uh, a doctor who was being sent to china Uh, 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 during the japanese invasion in the second world war and this film was also based on the story and one did not come back which was written by k bas uh, which is uh, itself based on the heroic life of dr dwarkanath kotnis so k bas uh, was closely associated with ipta and uh, k bas made a film called dharti ke lal and he was also a writer uh, he was journalist with bombay chronicle who later turned into a script writer uh, as well as a filmmaker and uh, his concern in this story was to in a way project uh, the kind of hero- heroics which were exhibited by uh, dr kotnis when he went to in a way represent his country uh, uh, to a far flung nation uh, apart from that we also find that vishantaram was also Uh, making films after independence as well and there was a film called apna desh which was made in 1949 uh, 
which was in the backdrop of uh, partition and uh, uh, in this film a hindu punjabi girl is kidnapped and raped during the partition riots and she manages to come to india and uh, she is able to locate her family so largely the film is uh, talking about uh, during the times of partition so it is trying to communicate a contemporary theme but at the same time when you keep in mind the kind of times which they were the, she is not being accepted by her family as well as the society and the girl uh, now becomes enraged and she wants to seek the kind of revenge from the society who had boycotted her in every manner and she becomes a smuggler and gets into black marketing business and she sends ammunition to pakistan uh, which are smuggled in crates that have musical instruments and we also find that she becomes involved with another refugee and when that refugee is being uh, implicated in the smuggling racket Uh, she admits her role in the business and she finally uh, surrenders to the police so we find that shantaram is trying to make certain kind of entertainers but these kind of entertainers have a very strong background of what actually has happened uh, in the uh, in the society in the contemporary times and the backdrop of uh, the partition is in a way uh, trying to communicate that how people of both the both india and pakistan they should accept those women those who are considered to be the fallen women uh, the women those who have been violated in some way in both these countries and these women they have all sorts of rights uh, that way to lead a normal uh, and an ordinary life so shantaram is again trying to provoke the society uh, to an extent that they they in a way should accept Uh, such kind of women in the society we also find that uh, another important concern of the society was the issue of dowry and uh, it uh, and he made another thought provoking film uh, film which was in a way tirade against the dowry evil and in this film he talks about the plight of a gentle and a hopeful daughter in law and how her father who is a self respecting father suffers all sorts of humiliation at the hands of a vicious Uh, mother in law in this film was titled the hage and how uh, uh, the kind of helplessness which is being exhibited in this film of a young husband could be seen in uh, in largely many of the indian households and uh, people they could in a way relate that uh, these kinds of things they are happening in their own households as well and we find that how uh, a young bride who is facing all sorts of suffering because she was not able to get that kind of a money which was uh, being expected of her from her in-laws and because of which uh, she is being humiliated even her parents uh, her father who is being highly respected by her she is being humiliated and she is not ready to accept that humiliation beyond a point and finally she makes the ultimate sacrifice uh, with her death and the film basically ends in some sort of a tragedy so this uh, kind of a tragedy which was being made by v shantaram and shantaram in a way tries to communicate that this particular film which was made by him with the title of the hage uh, and when this film was released in bihar uh, the members of the legislative assembly of bihar they were shocked and uh, shantaram says that i don't say that they were being inspired by my picture or by my film uh, but shantaram feels or thinks that it must have been the cause of the anti dowry bill uh, which was being passed in the bihar assembly shantaram says that uh, uh, that his picture alone did it but at the same time it happened immediately after the release of this film called the hage when this particular controversy was raised in the state so uh, we definitely can talk about that how films they raise the consciousness consciousness of the people and when films which are very meaningful which are talking about the various kinds of evils or ills of the society then definitely they are being talked about and many many a times uh, they may lead to some kind of a reform in the society uh, not only through kind of changes which come but in terms of legislation as well as uh, these kinds of connections they were being talked about by v shantaram that how a law came when uh, his film was released and when uh, 
uh, we see that anti dowry bill was passed in the parliament the members uh, they took the picture this particular film and they showed it to all the parliamentarians and after a week or so they introduced the bill in the parliament as well and it was passed so these kinds of bills definitely they help to a certain extent but uh, unless you create this impact in the mind of the people uh, it is of no use at it is being it was being felt by v shantaram and these pictures definitely or these films definitely have an impact on the society as well so shantaram was trying to raise the consciousness of the society that the young people those who will watch such kind of cinema or or these films uh, they will definitely be influenced by uh, the ideals which are being talked about in these films and over a period of time uh, the society will will do away with Uh, such kind of problems which are being encountered in the society we also find that other films uh, they were also being made by v shantaram one of the films were amar bhupali in marathi and this film talks about a simple cow herder who has an innate gift of poetry uh, set in the waning days of maratha confederacy in early 1800s and it was an ode to the saffron flag of the marathas calling on the people to rise against the foreign enemy so and this film was nominated in the category of the grand prize of festival at kan film festival in 1952 apart from that we also find that other films which were uh, being made by him one of them was three lights and four streets uh, which was a social family drama on the national integration teen batti char rasta and the crossroads is used symbolically in the film as a union of different states and religions in the country and uh, we find that how the patriarch uh, in the film who is being shown is from punjab and the wife is from up and uh, the five sons five of the six sons they marry the girls uh, from the five different states in india and the story follows the chaos this that ensues and there is another subplot in the film in the framework of the dark complexioned sandhya so uh, we find that the issue of the national integration was very very important in those times in 1950s and how the uh, the concerns of region caste religion language uh, all of them they were very paramount in the society could be divided on 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 these lines so uh, the issue of na- national integration where people from all different regions they all belong to one country india was talked about in this particular film by v shantaram and thereafter he also carries uh, in a, uh, the issue of an open prison experiment in the film called dua ke bara hath in 1957 where he portrays a young jail warden who rehabilitates the six dangerous prisoners which are released on parole into uh, uh, the persons of virtue so he uh, takes these notorious murderers and makes them work hard with him on a dilapidated country farm so uh, in this particular film the idea of uh, in a, of reforming uh, the prisoners uh, was there and this could be done by open prison system or experiment uh, as talked about by uh, v shantaram and this film also became quite uh, popular uh, with the kind of plot and the subplot which had and uh, we also find that how these prisoners over a period of time they were able to reform themselves as well so this particular film sets a strong moral lesson that through the hard work dedication concentration uh, a person can accomplish uh, anything and uh, if these kinds of reforms they have to come in the society whether in the context of uh, the kind of practices rituals which are there in the society or even in the framework of uh, the jail reforms uh, all these uh, reforms they were welcome in the society and when one is focusing on uh, its energy on some sort of worthy cause Uh, then uh, then they will be able to successful in their own life and uh, there was a song in the film a malik tere bande hum which was sung by lata mangeshkar uh, which became quite popular as well uh, we also find the the concern of v shantaram in the framework of uh, the issue of morality continues in the 1970s as well where he takes the case of a morally upright school teacher uh, played by dr shri ram lagu and a tamasha dancer which was played by sandhya 
and how uh, uh, the school teacher wants to reform the tamasha dancer but finally ends up falling in love with her so this uh, film was called pinjara which was made in 1972 by him and we find that how uh, the teacher loses his own morals uh, when he starts visiting the tamasha dancer and uh, the tamasha dancer also wants to seek revenge from the teacher because initially he was the one uh, who rejected her so uh, finally we see uh, that uh, through the various twists and turns uh, the teacher is finally implicated in, in his own murder as he was in a disguise and he uh, finds that uh, he 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 is not ready to disclose his identity and he feels that he should rather embrace uh, death uh, because he uh, believes that uh, from that point of view he will remain as a good fellow in the memory of the village folk uh, who are going to respect him and at the same time we find that the pinjara which the film talks about is basically is a cage uh, and this cage is a metaphor for life as well and the dancer also dies as she falls for the teacher and she is finally is unable to save him so uh, we find that how vishantaram using different stories uh, is trying to convey the kind of contemporary themes which are there in the society as the uh, teacher in this particular film called pinjara prefers to die under the mistaken identity and he does not want to live as a person who has lost all sorts of respect and at the same time uh, this kind of a death also frees him Uh, uh, from the kind of cage in which he was so apart from that later uh, uh, shantaram made uh, uh, some other films like janak janak pail baje in navrang as uh, you can see on the screen as well in the former one um, sandhya and dancer gopi Ch- krishna they were in the lead roles and in navrang uh, which was again noted for its dance sequences uh, with the lead actress sandhya in the song aadha hai chandrama raat aadhi became quite uh, popular in those times so we find that uh, shantaram continued in the journey of his film making and uh, beginning from the colonial times continuing uh, even after independence and the kind of range of the themes uh, which are being reflected in the films of v shantaram Uh, whether he talks about the issues of poverty or exploitation so many of the realistic issues they were being talked about by him he talks about the issues of women emancipation and uh, tries to convey the issues of uh, dowry as well as in his films and he also talks about the kind of social conflict which is there in the society and talks about the issues of national integration as well he he tries to in a way educate the masses Uh, through his films and at the same times he also engages in some kinds of fantasy oriented entertainment so we find that various strands or various shades of film making are evident in the films which have been made by uh, vishantaram and he has definitely made a lot of meaningful contribution to uh, the indian cinema so with this we like to end the discussion thank you very much